Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everybody. This is my uh, bottling episode slash show off episode. You can see here, it's what I've decided. The whole uh, bottle of beer with, I know, some people think it's sacrilege, but I'm using one of those auto, uh, auto fill things, whatever you want to call that. Uh, my capper. Thank you to uh, the gentleman I bought this from in Connecticut for for giving me such a great capper. I probably wouldn't have bought it myself and it works like a charm. Got some beers here, freshly bottled. 24 of those bad boys. And uh, however many it's gonna take to kill the two gallons roughly that's left. Hopefully it's about 24, hopefully I'm all set. Um, I said it's a show off episode for a simple reason. I'm gonna show what's in the fridge. Okay, so. In here we got a couple of Eddie Toppers and a resin, delicious. Uh, two of my other beers. I'll talk about those in a sec. Session, or excuse me, Saison IPA and a Where's Jess. The uh, these two in the in the Centennial Founder Centennial, which I do recommend. It's a fantastic brew. Uh, the, those are my Hefeweizen. Those probably won't be ready for months because the yeast flavor is far too harsh for me. Um, there's a lot of very obvious. Half a wise in flavor. You hear that awesome clock telling me it's about nine. So these, these are the second batch of Dunbar IPA I did with less hops. Um, I don't, I'm not a huge fan, but I know there are going to be some uh, BMC friends of mine who are going to love it. Okay, down here I got some top notch IPA from Anita Brewing. My first shot at them. A uh, Long Trail Pale Ale. Um, back here, the, the Rogue Voodoo Donut, Maple Voodoo Donut, um, <laughs> I always say it, uh, left hand milks down on nitro, American's Guinness, America's Guinness, I wouldn't buy Guinness now, having that on hand, uh, and the two cream stout, it's okay, it's good, it's fairly good from Dark Horse, uh, what else are we have? oh yeah, more, uh, the SIPAs back here, uh, let me just see if I can adjust it slightly without... Exploding everything, even though I did. Uh, anyway, the SIPAs are uh, Saison IPAs. And then over here we have um, trying out a fruit beer, Samuel Smith's Strawberry. Then um, Sierra Nevada's Harvest, because I've never had that before. And, you know, a little white wine and some, uh, if you know anything about this red wine, please tell me. Because I don't know a damn thing about it. Just bought it because it was on the clearance rack. Um, anyway, I think that pretty much concludes my setup. Um, yeah, that's that's how I brew. Uh, that's how I bottle. And uh, those are that's what's in my fridge. Anyway, um, if actually, you know what? Last thing, if you've held on for this long, God bless you. Um, if you would like anything that I have bro brewed please give me an address. I'm eager to get some feedback. So that includes, um, let's see, Saison IPA, for sure. Uh, the stout that could use some age. Uh, let's see, Dunbar Light 1, Dunbar Light 2, the Hefeweizen that could use some age. So one of those, or one or any of those five, please feel free. You don't show my face a lot, but please, please feel free to let me know, and I will definitely mail you some of those because I have access to UPS that's free through the business. Anyhow, uh, happy homebrew Wednesday, everybody. Hope keep bottling.